So let's talk about Anthony Joshua. As we all know, he's coming off a tough, tough loss in the rematch against Alexander Uzik. And it looks like he plans to fight again one more time before the end of the year in December. Boxing Scene wrote an article about it, as you guys can tell by the headline. Anthony Joshua returns still targeted for December against a top 15 opponent. If you read uh, the article, it talks uh, Eddie Hearn, who promotes him, this man right here, um, talked uh, with the uh, Daily Mail and he said, and I quote, he said, We're all gunning for a December return. It's not confirmed, but that's where everyone's minds are at. We're not booking a venue, but the conversations as recently as yesterday were December for his return. I don't want to start mentioning names, but it's a top 15 fight. It will be somewhat credible who AJ can come back, express himself against and build on what he's learning in camp. He can then build himself back up to fighting for a heavyweight title again. So, um, so yeah, uh, who could it be? Who could it be? Um, and it looks like he's going home to the UK for his next fight, which is a good thing. Um, <laughs> no offense to the Middle East, but I mean, AJ needs to fight in the UK. That's where his home base is at. That's where his fans are at. That's where he will get the most support. So he, especially coming off a loss, he needs to be in the UK for his next fight. Um, so yeah, so uh, Eddie Hearn mentioned Zhang as a possibility and then Philip Petrovich as another possibility. Uh, Zhang and Philip fought recently in the undercard of uh, the rematch with Uzik. Um, Philip Petrovich won a close fight, but uh, a lot of people thought Zhang also won that fight. If you look at the top 15 right now, the main man is Alexander Uzik and Tyson Fury. Those are the only two belt holders right now in the division. Tyson Fury holds the WBC and the rest of the belts are held by Alexander Uzik. So looking at the top 15, there's a lot of names in the top 15. Some names that we probably haven't heard about. Um, let's say like, uh, who else haven't, who haven't heard about Zan Zokobotsky, for an example, like not many people know who he is or Ivan Dichko. Not many people know who he is. I'm sure there's somebody out there who knows who he is. You're probably watching this if you know who they are. <laughs> um, yeah, but they're not that well known. Zile Zhang, on the other hand, he, he did look good in that last fight against Hergovic. So I wouldn't mind seeing that Philip Hergovic probably wouldn't fight Joshua because jo Hergovic is technically the I IBF title contender now or mandatory challenger. So he doesn't want to risk that chance of fighting for a world title. Um, so at the end of the day, I just hope he ends up fighting somebody good. Otto Wallin was another option. That's who they were talking about uh, for his comeback fight after the first fight with Uzik. Uh, you know, if Uzik was not available to fight because of the war in, uh, in Ukraine, uh, Otto Wallin was in, in conversations of a possible return for for Joshua, which actually is not a bad fight against Otto Wallin. Um, you know, it gives us a, a good perspective of where Joshua's at right now to compare uh, Fury's, comp Fury's performance against Wallin and uh, Joshua. And Wallin had very good moments against Joshua, I mean, uh, against Fury. So, out of all the names, I think Wallin, Otto Wallin, uh, Zilei Zhang, and Philip Hergovic are probably the best options right now. Um, or Martin Bacoli too. That's a pretty good fight if you ask me. There's, there's some really good options. I'm not going to lie. There's some really good options for Joshua's return um, this December. So uh, if they can just pick a top 15 guy, I think I'll be happy with that. So we'll see. We will see. I guess we'll hear something soon because December is coming up pretty soon. So uh, I know AJ is back in the gym now. Uh, it looks looking back it looks like he's going back to where it all started so um so yeah we'll see where aj goes we'll see where aj goes let me know your thoughts and comments thanks for listening thanks for watching i'll keep you guys updated and like always have a great day all right thanks